Good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you today? Welcome. Thank you. How was your weekend? Did you enjoy the weekend? Did you do anything special? Nothing special on the weekend? No. Seriously? What happened? What did you do on the weekend? Visit family. That's special. That's something special. Ready for another week? Did you practice your English on the weekend? Yes, coach. It's cool. Okay, we're going to start the second week, right? So, Please, as always, don't forget to, to work on the platform. Try to connect to classes on time. And the best that you can do is practice See. the language. Canada. Okay. No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Micah? Sylvia and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Mike? Let me see. We're going to speak about, we're going to start next section or unit. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. So there you have this question. What's your favorite color? Coach, my favorite color is pink. Pink, why do you like pink? Because I like, um, how do you say, todas las cosas rosas? Everything. In English, everything, pink. Okay. Yeah, it happens to me. My favorite color is black. And everything is black. I mean, most of everything I wear is black. And people sometimes ask me, why do you wear too much black? And I say, ah, oh, because I like it. It's my favorite color. Someone else, we're going to speak about colors. Favorite colors? My favorite color is aqua and yellow. Yellow. What does yellow represent for you? Um, 
represent un color vivo, felicidad, brillante, no sé, me Happiness. represente mucho. Happiness. Yes, happy. Okay. Yes. Cool. Happiness. Ajá. Uh -huh. More colors. More favorite colors. My favorite color too is black. Why do you like black? Um, because I like. No reason. <laughs> but according to some people, what does black represent? Not for you, I mean for people. Why do people, when they go to funerals, they dress black? People say that black means sadness, tristeza, right? Or grieving. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. What does black represent for you? Eh, what do you what say mm. elegancia? ¿Cómo se dice elegancia? Elegance. Elegance. Yes, you see, we are very elegant in black. What favorite colors? My favorite colors are the black and orange. Orange. Why orange? Because he's the color of my team here in San Miguel. Oh, okay. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. More favorite colors. Okay. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time. And there's something here, if you see the meaning of colors, but in the United States, right? What about in El Salvador? What does blue represent? What does blue represent? The ocean. The ocean, okay. Liberty. Liberty, okay. What else? The sky. The sky, what else? What does blue represent in El Salvador? How do you say bandera, teacher? Flag. ¿Cómo? Fl flag. 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 F okay, it's the color of the flag. F-L-A-G, flag. Fly. The fly, yes. So it represents la selecta, right? The blue. Yes, I know, I know, but por eso le dicen, no, la azul. Okay. And what about red? What does red represent? Partido, partido político. <laughs> okay. No, but red. February 14th. The hell. February 14th. Huh? Passion. The Mother's Day. Love. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mother's Day. Mm, can be. What does yellow represent? In El Salvador. Die. Yellow. See the Flowers. A tree. Primavera. I don't know how do you say primavera. Okay. Tourist. Como turístico. 
Okay, I didn't know. I mean, well, different opinions, right? <laughs> but when you give yellow flowers or yellow roses, what does this represent? Yellow flowers, yellow roses. Friendship. Present. Uh, no. friend, friend, friendship. Friendship. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Friendship. Yeah, that's the word. Friendship. Yes, good. Friendship. What about white? What does a white represent? Hop. Hot? Mm -hmm. No, hop. Up. Pop. Hop. No, no, no. Hope. Oh, hope. Esperanza. Hope. Hope. Okay. Hope. Okay. Peace. Peace. Okay. How, how do you say uh, pureza? Purity. Okay. Purity. Yes, good. What else? What about pink? Girls. Thanks. Very. <laughs> Sweetness. Okay. Woman. Women. Femininity. Okay. And, and what about blue? But now forget La Selecta, right? <laughs> because if you notice, uh, people use pink for girls when they Man. are. Okay. Blue. For boys, right? Blue color. Okay. Yeah, that was just some introduction. Let's begin with this. So let's continue with this. Okay. A conversation practice. If you see, they're perfect for you. Now, I'm going to be the first one to read. Listen, pay attention, and then you are going to volunteer. Steve and Maria, right? Listen. It says, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. You see? Now, who wants to be Steve and who wants to be Maria? Hazel, you are Maria. Boy? Boys? No boys, another girl. Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, you are Steve. Okay, coach. Go ahead. Oh, oh, look at this. Carrie and Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones. Mm, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that uh, necklace. Así se pronuncia, coach? Yes, go ahead. Necklace. Okay. Ne necklace is bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Um, I let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! That was great, ladies. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! 
Happy birthday. Ana Cordova. Okay. Next, another volunteer. Uh, Herbert. Herbert, you are Steve. Okay, teacher. Oh, look at these earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. Your microphone. Sorry. Can you hear me? Can you hear These me? These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue, that blue one right there. How much is it? It's 42, that expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Perfect, thank you guys. Someone else wants to practice. Oswaldo. And Nidia. Very good. You start, Oswaldo. You're David. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. This real one. I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's in $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. Somebody else? Luis Antonio, you are David. And Camila, you are Maria. Camila, go ahead. Oh, look at, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there, how much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Nice. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. That was really good. Thank you very much. Let's see. Someone else? Rosa, Irma. Okay. I have Maria. I need Steve. Katya. Good. Go ahead. Katya, you are Steve. <clears throat> okay. Oh, uh, perfect for you. This is all ones. I am not sure. The yellow ones. Oh, yes. Um, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, the necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. 
How much is it? It's forty-two dollar. That that's expensive. <laughs> Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Nice. You're doing a good job, guys. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's no problem right with pronunciation. Um, let's see. I'm going to read it the last time so you can listen and check some words. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. No problem with pronunciation. <clears throat> new words, new phrases, new vocabulary. All perfect for us. Oh, cool. That's great. <clears throat> no. Um, let's see. In this Netflix. ¿Qué significa picture? There you have the picture. Necklace. What we were here. Neck. Do you remember parts of the body, the neck? And there you have the picture. A necklace. Necklace. Collar. Okay. <clears throat> In this case, what we are going to practice, demonstratives, one and ones. Demonstratives, we have four in this case. How much is this necklace? Or how much is that necklace? Which one? <clears throat> and then you can ask, how much is this one? Or how much is that the one? The blue one. How much are these earrings? Or how much are those earrings? Which ones? Or you can say, how much are these? Or how much are those? the yellow ones, but I'm going to use another presentation so you can notice here. Those are demonstratives. These, when we point, this. Or that, okay, that, mm -hmm. or these, or those. Pay attention, in this case, you have to pay attention to the pictures, okay? Okay. Pay attention. This is an apple. Pay attention to the apple and the, the point, the hand. This is an apple. This is an apple. And then, oops, that, we point, that is an apple. That is an apple. And this is singular, only one apple. So you can use this. This is an apple. That is an apple, singular. What about plural? 
check the sentence. These are apples. These are apples. Those. Those are apples. This is a cup. This is a cup of coffee. That is a cup of coffee. Singular. Only one. Plural. These, these are caps. And those over there, those are caps. Those are caps. This is a dress. This is a dress. That is a dress. These are dresses. And those are dresses. This is a skirt, and that is a skirt. These are skirts, and those are skirts. This is a t-shirt, and that is a t-shirt. These are t-shirts and those are t-shirts. This is a sack. This is a sack. That is a sack. These are socks, and those are socks. Okay. Now, did you get the idea? When, when do we use this and that? Let's see. Okay. This is an apple and that is an apple. When do we use this? For singular. Singular. In, in this case, you have to... Y está cerca. Exactly. You have to pay attention to two important things. First, singular. And the object is close. Okay, the other one, that singular, but the object is Alejos. in a long distance. Both are singular, this and that. Both are singular, but one is close and the other one is in a long distance. Okay, and then we have first plural, right? Apples, apples, plural, plural. But these, they are close. But those, no. they are at a distance, okay? That's something that you have to pay attention and that's it, okay? Let me see.
Okay. There you have some sentences and you have the four options. And you are going to choose the correct one. Are my old building blocks? Which one is the correct? And now, um, in the first one for singular, it's similar, but not the same, right? In this case, uh, when, when you uh, pronounce the word, the first one, if you notice um, the pronunciation for the singular is this, this, this. If you, if you notice here, right? Pay attention to my mustache. This, 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 this. It's like short, this, this. But then for the plural, you, you do the like these, right? These, these. these. Mm -hmm. En español nos enseñaban las, la I corta, la I larga. This and these, right? That's the difference. So, the first one, now tell me again. This. 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 These are my old mm. building blocks. Yeah. This. 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 Uy, what happened? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. And, and there you have, right? The, explanation this singular and near that singular far these plural near and those plural far that's it teacher teacher hello and so the near and far what is near cerca far Lejos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now, let's complete the sentences. The These. Thus. These. They are near. Yes. No. Those. 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 Pay attention donde está ubicada la, el, el dedo que señala. Ah. What about this one? Ahora vean el dedo de nuevo señalando. This. 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 That. This. 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 For singular. This. 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 Mm -hmm. This is my mom's favorite bag. This. This is my mom's favorite bag. Next. That. 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 That is the watering can I use very often. Next. Those. Those. This. 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 These are the apples I picked yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. This. Yes. This. 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 
Those are my sister's Spanish books. Well done. <clears throat> that. 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 That is the key ring I got from Peter. This is my cousin's scooter. This is my cousin's scooter. That. No, Those. no. Hello? It's that. Those. These that, that. are those. <laughs> those. 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 Okay. <laughs> those. These. These. Those. These. These. Good. These are my old building blocks. Good. Okay. Now you, you see the difference? Right. Are my... Okay, but uh, there is a second part in this. Give me a second. If you remember, the second part is one and once. Do you remember? We saw this one and once. Now, let me show yeah. you what is it. Okay. Now, pay attention to this. Just give me a sec. Do you remember in the conversation they mention which one or which ones. Look at those ones. Look at this one. So let's see what one and ones mean. Wait, 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 wait. Pay attention to this. This is Ingle. She's going to have a first date with a cute guy this evening. Now pay attention to what she says. What can I wear? Maybe a dress? She has two dresses. An orange dress and a black dress. Which one do I wear? Which one do you prefer, Luis? The red one or the black one? The black one. Okay, you prefer the black one. Okay. Ah, uh, it's orange. I am red. The, the orange one. Or this one? Mm -hmm. Which one do I wear? The orange one or this one? The black one, right? Or a skirt. She has two skirts. A long skirt and a short skirt. Which one do you prefer? Short skirt. Short skirt. Long skirt. The long skirt. But what about boys? Herbert, which one do you prefer? Both. Both? Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. I, prefer, I prefer the long ones. They are very yes. elegant. Mm -hmm. Which one do I wear? The long one? Or the short one. Okay, I'll take the black dress, but I need shoes. But which ones? Which, which one? 
which shoes should they wear? High heeled ones or flat ones? Mira, pon música de mi teléfono, mi amor. Ya cayó flat la ones. Flat ones. Which one do you prefer? High. What's pronunciation? High heel. How the high, high heel. heeled ones. High heel. High heel ones. Okay. I think I'll take the high heel one. Okay, good. Good choice. But the shoes need some color. Do I take the red ones or the purple ones? Okay, which one red, do you prefer? Red one. Which one? Red, which one? Ones. red ones. Red ones. Red ones. Red the red ones. <laughs> What does red re uh, represent? Somebody said. Passion. 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 <laughs> okay. Now Inga knows <laughs> what she wants to wear. I'll wear a dress. The black one and high heels. The red right. ones because they match with my purse. You see? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Good choice. Okay, so what? When do we use one Teacher. and when? Yes? What is the meaning of purse? Purse. Purse is this red object. Okay, okay, okay. That's a purse. All right, so. One and ones. Obviously, one for singular, right? And ones for plural. Now, why or when do we use it? One or ones. First, to avoid repetition. In this sentence, if you see, I can't decide on a dress. Which dress do you yeah. like best? What's the word that we repeat here? Dress, right? Sorry. So we can omit the second dress. I mean, here. I can't decide on a dress. Which one do you like? So one refers. There you have. We can omit that. We can omit dress the second time. Another one. I need to wear colorful shoes. The red shoes are cool. We repeat shoes and shoes. So we can omit the second one. Here. I need to wear colorful shoes. The red ones are cool. There you have, okay? And there you have more examples. We bought three suitcases, a big suitcase and two small suitcases. We can omit one. We bought three suitcases, a big one and two small ones, plural. I like these biscuits, the biscuits in the blue box. I like these biscuits, the ones in the blue box. I need a new pair of trainers. I think I'll buy these trainers. Or I need a new pair of trainers. I think I will buy these ones. Here are the coats. Which coat is yours? Here are the coats. Which one is yours? And that's it. Hey, so. Eh, esto de once es específicamente para cosas que se repiten. Yes. O se podría con algún a otra palabra de repetición. O sea, como por ejemplo emociones o así. No. Mm, 
can be, but let me think about an example. Hmm. I have two ideas. I have to decide on one. I have two ideas, but I don't know which one I should. Uh huh. In this case, you have two ideas, right? Mm -hmm. And you can say, okay. or you can say, I have, okay, I have two pieces of news a good one and a bad one. Which one do you want first? The good one or the bad one? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. So you see. Any other comment or question? Okay. So let me do this. Let's check this. <clears throat> Use one or once. Can I have this t-shirt, please? What would you answer? If I ask you, can I have this t-shirt, please? But there are like seven t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Now, if I ask you, can I have this T-shirt, please? What would you answer? This one. Repeat Which that. One? Uh, uh huh. Which one? Can I have this T-shirt, please? Which one? The yellow one, the black one, the blue one, the green one, the red one. Number two, can I have these bags, please? Which ones? <clears throat> Which ones? Perfect. Can I have those jeans, please? Which ones? Which ones? Cool. Well done. Complete the conversation. Let's try. Excuse me, how much are the sunglasses? <laughs> try. Try to give me an answer. Which ones? Which ones? Oops. Which ones? Yeah. There's a mistake, sorry. It, it should be, which ones? Which ones? The answer? The ones? The ones with the black oh, frame. Mm -hmm. They're 40. They are $40. What about next sentence or question? Let's see. Can I touch them? Or can I try them? Can I try them? But here something is missing. Can I try them on? Can I try them on, please? Sure. Here you are. And thanks a lot. Another exercise. Which card is yours? Blue one. Blue one. Or 
oh, the red, red one arm. or the or red, the red one. one. Cool. I do like the brown shoes, but I like the black ones. 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 Number three. Somebody. I. That biscuit was nice. I'm going to have another one. Yes. Thank you very much. Number four. Is there a bank near here? Yes. Here is, there is one. 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 At the end of the street. Yeah, yes, there is there one. Is one. Number five, please. Do you like this coat? Which one? Which one? Cool. And the last one. Which is yours? You... The ones on the table. The ones. Ones. Sorry, another mistake. The ones, right? The ones on the table. The ones, plural. The ones on the table. That's it. Hey, good job, guys. Any problem with this? Piece of cake. Mm -hmm. So far, so good, teacher. That's great. So the one and once it's more easy than these, those, these, da, da. <laughs> these, that, those, 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 well, these, these. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. because there are four and you have to pay attention, right? The, if the object is here, but what you need is practice. It's not a big deal. It's not so complicated. Practice is the best. Mm -hmm. um, Teacher, yep. una pregunta. Mm -hmm. eh, no sé, bueno, sí, yo sé que es práctica, pero que se me dificulta. Yo siento que lo que usted dijo aquel día, el viernes, creo yo, del, sobre el, lo del meme, que lo sabe leer, lo sabe escuchar, lo comprende, pero no lo habla, y entonces yo estoy entrampada allí. <risa> Así me siento. Natural. Um, it happens. Es que ese meme no, no, no es por gusto. A todos nos pasa. Um, la situación es no quedarse ahí. Y para no quedarse ahí es necesario la práctica. Obviamente, aparte de esta hora diaria, eh, deberían de, 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 en su caso, su, como compromiso personal, practicar. Luego puedo entender también la dificultad y con quién practico, ¿no? En mi casa, nadie. Uh -huh. pero um, lo que me aconsejaban a mí también porque créame que lo que ese meme o sea yo también en aquel entonces cuando yo estaba aprendiendo estaba en básico en la universidad justo le dije hey teacher y por qué si yo le entiendo cuando me lo está hablando lo está diciendo está explicando en la clase y entiendo las lecturas pero de repente de aquí ya nada. Y justo lo que él me dijo, yo le digo. Sí, correcto. That's the natural process. El proceso natural. Ahora bien, no quedarse ahí. Eh, para el speaking, obviamente, um, a mí me decían, póngase frente al espejo y comience a hablarse a usted mismo. Uh -huh. eh, o 
no sé si fue a ustedes que se los dije, el self-talk, ¿cómo se dice en español? Self-talk. En inglés se dice self-talk, cuando uno se habla a sí mismo. Todo, ajá, todo lo que pensamos, ¿no? Pues acostumbrar acá. Todo lo que pensamos acá, pues pensarlo en inglés. Cuesta, difícil, complicado, pero se logra. Ahí va en el bus, uno va en el bus. Va pensando. Yes. Are you going to take roll? Repeat that, please. Are you going to take to take roll? The list of the names. The attendance. Ah, pasar lista. The attendance. Okay, the attendance. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, justo a eso iba, pero me quedé respondiéndole a. a... Teacher, teacher, I'm sorry. Yes. La idea que dijo, perdón, en, de, de pensar en inglés, pero no es ir traduciendo, sino irlo pensando. Exacto. Pero también es otra situación que, que uno, uh, aunque uno no lo quiera, el cerebro siempre lo va a hacer. Siempre se, se dice, eh, no traduzca, no traduzca. Aunque no, querramos, aunque no querramos, el cerebro siempre lo va a hacer. Mm -hmm. Y también es otro proceso que eso con el tiempo igual va quedando a un lado, el ya no traducirlo, pero no. Eh, y de hecho en unos artículos que, que, bueno, yo he leído y dice, o sea, están el cerebro, ¿no? ¿Cómo es? que hace? Y, y también nosotros que hacemos doble trabajo. Queremos decir una oración, la pensamos primero en español y luego la traducimos y luego la decimos. O sea, un gran trabajo. Igual no se puede evitar. Se, y eso ya se va a ir evitando con, el, con ese del proceso, ¿no? El proceso. Ya cuando ya tenemos mucho vocabulario, porque ese es el caso, ¿no? Tenemos a veces vocabulario. Queremos y tal vez la estructura pero no tenemos vocabulario. ¿Cómo ir aprendiendo más vocabulario? Ahí están las otras habilidades. La lectura. Leer cosas básicas. ¿Ok? Lecturas. Eh, aprenderse el listado. ¿no? Si estamos ahorita por lo menos... Eh, vamos a ver la familia. Pues el vocabulario de la familia. Cómo se dice tío, tía. Y todo ese vocabulario aprendérselo y así es como se va también ganando la fluidez es como en el español si no tenemos ese amplio vocabulario no sabemos expresar muchas ideas but it's natural so don't worry don't worry pero sí lo que deben de hacer es práctica constante ok please Alma Patricia Rivas No. Ana Guadalupe Córdoba. Here. Ana Lisset Ábalos. Teacher. Alma tenía apagado el micrófono. Presente. Oh, ok. Ok, thank you. Camila Lisset. I'm here. Cristian Adalberto. Present teacher. Diana Beatriz. Doris Emilia Alfaro. Present teacher. Estela Marisol. Eva Alicia. Present teacher. Griselda de la Paz. Present teacher. Herbert Gerardo. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Hazel Nayeli Morales. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo. Coach, present. Ok. José es que tengo David. problemas de conexión. Ok. Present, 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 present. Ok. Eh, José Luis Escobar. Present. Joshua. Here, teacher. 
en Q, Carla Patricia. Katia Verónica. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Liliana Laura. Present teacher. Good night. Luis Alberto Mejibar. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Ortiz. Present teacher. Nidia Jamilex. I'm here. Nuria I'm here. Mayeli. I'm here. Present teacher. Oswaldo Stanley. Present. Paulina Viñas. Present teacher. Rosa Irma Flores. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Karina Susana. Present. Present teacher. Oh, oh, Sarina, right? Karina, dije, ¿verdad? Sarina sí. Susana. <ríe> Sonia <ríe> Dolores. Por eso me perdí en la lista porque buscaba de nuevo a Karina y no la encontró. Sarina. <ríe> Eh, Sonia I Dolores. I'm here, teacher. I'm here, oh, teacher. Okay. And Tatiana María. Present. Okay. Teacher, yeah. y Mayeli yes. Montoya. Ya la agregó, ya la... Porque tenía problemas de internet, dijo. Ah, oh, sí, la escuché. Sí. Lo único... Ok, ok, sí, sí me puso que sí la escuché. Ajá, yes. Nice. Thank you guys. It's late and the other class is waiting for me. Thank you for participating. Thank, Thank you very you much. For coming. So see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Have a good night, mm -hmm. everyone. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.